The first thing you want to do is unbuckle the lace back buckles and open up the harness. Slide the front martingale over your dog's head and bring their right front leg up through the martingale so that both girth straps are under the dog. To properly lace back the buckles, bring the girth strap up through the first buckle, pulling the strap tight against the dog's chest, using the buckle to cam it, sliding it through the second slot, and then making sure to cover up that danger sign, go back through the first slot, the double back, and pull tight. Repeat the process on the rear gear strap. Through the front slot, cam through the second slot, cover up the danger, and pull tight. Make sure you adjust the front martingale straps so that the chest plate is centered over your dog's sternum, which is that prominent bone on the front of their chest. Also adjust the chest martingale strap here so that the front girth strap is directly behind the dog's legs. Before use, make sure that the bottom belly panel does not extend past your dog's rib cage so that their skeletal structure is enclosed within the harness. Adjust all the straps throughout the day to make sure it's the proper fit and your dog stays securely inside. To do the leg loops, open up the back panel and again, unlace the buckles. Bring the webbing behind the dog's leg, bring it back around through the front and lace it through the buckle. Just like on the girth straps, going through the first slot, through the second slot, and making sure to cover up the danger sign back through the first slot. Then pull tight. Then repeat, back behind the dog's leg, around to the front, through the first slot, through the second slot, and then back through the first slot. Pull tight. Just like with human climbing gear, make sure and inspect the double back harness before each use. Look for any key wear areas that may jeopardize the strength rating of the harness. If anything looks suspect, retire the harness. The attachment point at the top is the primary tie-in point, but there are extra loops along the length that can be used to stabilize the dog. Simply clip into these loops and back into the main tie-in point to help stabilize your dog laterally. All right, and you ready to go? Let's go. Good girl, Indy. Ready, Indy? Coming down. Good stuff.